Here we have another Timex Waterbury, water not Waterbury. This is the three handed version. And here's the model number. So everything looks pretty good here. It looks like a nice piece for what you're uh, expecting out of a Timex. The seconds hand actually hits most of the marks around this half and then the second half they're off which I don't understand how that happens but for the most part they're on around from the 12 to 6 from the 6 to the 12 they're like in the halfway mark so the main concern that I have with this model is on both Amazon and eBay I believe they're listing it as a 40 millimeter watch uh, and a uh, nine and a half millimeter thick and those measurements are not correct so I will show you that these this is a, a 42 millimeter watch like there's no way you get around that's 42 millimeter and then the thickness is actually 11.8. I've gotten 11.6 on the thinnest, so I'm going to say it's 11.6. And then uh, 20 millimeter lugs. So, which I think it, this watch wears great for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Um, but a lot of people that are ordering this with the uh, details in the description saying it's a 40 millimeter, it's going to be a little bit bigger than what you're expecting. It's got that nice domed acrylic. It's polished up. I have some scratches on it, but it has the uh, in the glow, which is uh, always nice and bright. The leather is uh, really nice. It fits the wrist great. There's the back. This one came in a little bit cheaper box than the other one. I have some more Timex Weatherby's uh, inbound, so I'll, I'll, when I get those, I'll also uh, throw up some videos of those. Um, also, they're claiming a 40 millimeter, so we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna come in the same case as this and be a 42 millimeter. But uh, I think a great watch for the money.